Hello, today we're going to be looking at the um, rain sprinkler cutoff circuit. And basically, uh, for all of you who have a sprinkler system, a lawn sprinkler system in the house, uh, you know you have that little sensor that's out there, or you should have that sensor that uh, when it starts to rain, you don't want to be wasting water through uh, and uh, have your sprinkler system uh, just putting water on the lawn for nothing while it's raining. Now, the circuit consists of this little board here. This board is really just a printed circuit board, a perf board, and I, what I did was I soldered every other row together, and I did the same thing, the opposite rows, on this side. That's this little printed circuit board. And it's very small. It's about uh, two inches by uh, inch and a half. And the schematic for that is there. Very simple. That took like five minutes to make. And here we have a, uh, a 555 timer right here we have a capacitor this is a 22 microfarad capacitor right over here and this is a 1 microfarad capacitor and the LED I threw in across the uh, coil of the relay there is a relay that's this little guy here it looks like an IC but it's a relay and that's about it there's really not much I have this bunch of resistors, which really, I have them all in series. They're one meg each, because I didn't have a five meg ohm resistor, but if you have five meg, that's even better. You have less components on the board. Um, and this is the schematic. This runs on five volts. The schematic is here. There's our rain sensor, the actual sensor, which is just the perf board. That's our relay. Now, the relay is a normally closed relay I had to use because my sprinkler system, when this is open, the system is off. So I needed a, a normally closed relay. Now, when a drop of water lands here, making contact here, between any two points here, it'll trigger the, re, uh, the 555, we'll get a pulse here. Now, because of these components, the 5 meg and this 22 microfarad, the pulse will be a 2, I believe it's 2.5 minute pulse. I mean, that's the duration that this will remain positive. And I thought about it. It doesn't really matter that much the duration because if it's raining, there'll be water here and it'll be here and it'll stay here for a while. A few drops will be there. And as long as there's water here, this guy will be triggering continuously, which will open this normally closed relay which in turn will uh, turn the system off once that relay opens. And it's a very simple circuit. I believe this is called a, a monostable sta uh, multivibrator. I'm not sure. Or I should say it's running in a monostable mode, which is the single pulse of one duration, whatever you decide these uh, components will be. So the two and a half minutes is fine. Now let's uh, let's see if we can see this thing in action. I'll turn off this light so we can see the LED a little better. And we just put a little drop of water right here. Boom. There's a drop. 
as you can see what that did was it tripped it pulsed and that light is actually across the coil of the relay and so the relay is being made which in means those two contacts right there opened which is what I want and when it opens it turns the system off the sprinkler system that's these two contact points here and I'm probably going to get the voltage that I need from anywhere from 5 to 9 volts I'm, I'll probably pull that directly from uh, the sprinkler controller Let me try to zoom out of here a little bit so you can see the uh, the whole diagram a little better and again all you need is one 555 chip if you want an LED with a 200 ohm resistor that's only just to limit the current through the LED this uh, little relay here is a, um, a 5 volt relay and with normally closed contacts it's, it almost looks like a chip it's very small a 1 microfarad uh, capacitor electrolytic 22 microfarad capacitor and a 5 mega ohm resistor if you want the 2.5 uh, minute delay and this you can make yourself with the perf board like I said you uh, you'll just uh, solder every other row and this would go up on the roof now the light is still on but that's because the drop is still there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry it I'm gonna take this drop out of there I don't have a q-tip or anything that's my t-shirt I'm using and the uh, the light will stay on for 2.5 minutes now that it's dry there it is it went out now also what I think I want to do is when I put this up up top above the house outside uh, I'm gonna place this at a slight angle because I don't really want the drops just sitting there flat and waiting to be evaporated so what I'll probably do is put it at an angle and I think it'll dry faster that way once it's up on the roof and of course the circuit's got to be placed on a, on a little printed circuit board of some kind and that's it that's my uh, sprinkler rain cutoff circuit